Officer Lin, District 7 Executor in Training only reporting. So you're Umi? Yes, Officer Lin. Just call me Lin. What happened to your outpost? Mororia has been unable to get in touch. I... I have just returned myself. I was ordered to hunt down several Grayspace entities en route to attack the outpost when I intercepted their distress signal. I hurried back immediately. Proper procedure requires that you immediately relay news of the attack on the outpost to headquarters. Leaving your post like that was not your call to make. I... I'm sorry, madam. Lin? And what of your colleagues at the outpost? I... I, I don't know. On my way back, I was soon ambushed by enemies. And after that, I encountered you. I'm detecting faint signs of life in one of the lower areas, as well as signs of gray space entity activity. The outpost should have a built-in safe house for emergencies. Maybe the survivors hid inside. Right! The safe house is located below. I'll take you there. What? The Hatcher is a special kind of gray space entity only recently discovered. Strange to find them here. Look! The missing personnel! Stop looking around. Get rid of the enemies first. I performed a thorough check. They appear to have simply passed out. No sign of injury or loss of life. They just passed out? Why would the gray space entities leave survivors? We've never seen anything like that before. It may be a characteristic unique to Hatchers. What do you think, Umi? Hmm? Uh... I've never seen one before, so I... I have no idea. Sorry. Notify headquarters of what's happened, Tianlong. Ask them to send a crew at once to pick up the injured. Also, Shirley, are you still picking up nearby gray space entity activity? There are no more stable gray space entity signals nearby. Miss Shirley, you can detect gray space entities? That's extraordinary! Oh, it takes us a whole host of complicated machinery to accomplish the same thing. I've asked Shelly to make a few upgrades to my powers. I can't claim to detect them from very far away, but it does come in handy. Incredible. Do you think that I could also... Enough chit-chat. We've got a mission to do. Umi, do you think that the outpost's equipment is still in good working order? Headquarters has to re-establish contact with Innis ASAP. I... I'll have a look now. Let's also try to collect any clues we can nearby. We may have eliminated all the gray space entities within the outpost, but we still need to figure out exactly how they managed to mount such an effective assault. Oh no, I wasn't able to restart. Why? What's wrong? The signal base station we used to connect to Innes is malfunctioning, and I can't get the auto diagnostics to run. It needs a manual reset. Signal base station. Weren't they built in the miasmic swamp ahead? Do you think they've also been attacked by the gray space entities? Mororia always set up important field equipment like that with defensive force fields. No ordinary gray space entities would have the power to break through that. What concerns me more is that the base station came under attack at the same time as this outpost. In other words, we are not dealing with random events, but a coordinated plan by gray space entities with one clear goal to cut off our connection to Innes. Do you really think the gray space entities could... I mean, aren't they basically just wild animals running on instinct? Could they really pull off a coordinated maneuver like this? Umi, do you really think they are simply wild animals without reason? What do I think? I... I mean... I've only seen them 
most inferior of gray space entities. So, I really couldn't know. Uh, Tian Long, what's the word from headquarters? They've sent a team to take over the site. Archon Larson wants us to go ahead and look into the anomalous space station in the Miasmic Swamp. We need to restore the network as soon as possible. In that case, can I volunteer to protect the outpost until they arrive? My colleagues are still unconscious. If the Gray Space entities launch another attack, they could be in terrible danger. No, you're coming with us. You know much more about what to expect in the Miasmic Swamp. And our highest priority right now is to repair the base station. Um, then, uh, how can we be sure that the outpost will remain safe? We've already eliminated the local Gray Space entities, and the team from headquarters should arrive any minute now. I don't think it's a problem. Um, in that case, I'll lead the way. Here we are. It should be just ahead. Very dense underbrush. Good to see the local ecosystem is thriving. That is true to an extent, yes. A lot of animal and plant species would consider this something akin to heaven. I wonder why Miroria never had the idea of setting up a settlement here. By heaven, I didn't mean one for humans. Notice the thin mist up ahead? That's not water humidity. It's an airborne toxin harmful to humans. An airborne toxin? They once established an ecology research station here during the surface recolonization era. The place was home to quite a number of species human scientists had improved through genetic engineering. The gray space entities destroyed the station sometime later, setting the station's experiments loose into the surrounding environment. Most of the species quickly adapted, and indeed soon evolved into something approximating a fairly holistic ecosystem. Unfortunately, one of the accidental byproducts of this new ecosystem was a deadly toxin. Rainfall and high humidity disperse a lot more of the toxin into the air. In short, it's become a terrible place for human habitation. Can I ask you how you came to know the history of the area, Officer Tianlong? Oh, I just heard it in passing from some friends who had been stationed here. You know, it's a real shame. The place is obviously... Let's chat about this later. Right now, Umi, we need your help navigating this complex terrain. Great! There are three signal base stations here. Come with me. Not at all surprised, to be honest. <laughs> Do you often see gray space entity activity around here? We might come across a few wandering gray space entities from time to time, but not so many at once. These are the least of my worries. What we should be concerned with is what may be waiting for us ahead. Oh, there's not going to be some big powerful monster watching us from the shadows, is there? I've never gone up against Abyss since before. Whatever the danger is, that's why we're here. Umi, you're going to have to lead the way. Officer Lin, I suggest we split up for the next section. Is that so? The three base stations are located in different parts of the Miasmic Swamp. Going one by one will take a long time. It may be better to split up and handle all three at once. But we're not familiar with the terrain here. It could be dangerous if we don't stick together. True, but we don't have the luxury of time. Right now, our orders are to repair the base stations ASAP. I think Umi has a good point. <sighs> All right. It makes sense to work quickly. Then I'll provide everyone with a map of the area. There you go. Umi, how do you think we should split up? Eh? Me? You're the local expert. Your suggestion carries a lot of weight. I would say... Base stations 1 and 3 are near our present location. Officer Lin and Tianlong, you could probably handle these two respectively. Base station 2 is the furthest, so 
So as the local expert, I think I can lead Shirley and the Executor to tackle that one. And we should be more than capable of eliminating any Grayspace entities we may find along the way. Oh, hey, uh, hey, uh, I don't think that would be very smart. Oh? Why is that? Mainly because I'm not... I mean, I don't have a good head for directions. Shirley and I will handle Base Station 1. Umi, you take the Executor and Tian Long to Base Station 3. Then, if everything works out just fine, we can all rendezvous at Base Station 2. And what if we run into trouble? You should be able to handle yourself, right? Well, when you put it like that, let's go. What today? I think those flowers only form near an abyssant field. We're in... luck? <sighs> We're asking for trouble. Although, perhaps finding the trouble is more troublesome than the trouble itself. How do you know these flowers are being produced by an abyssant field? The abyssant is close. I can feel it. Also, I've lost contact with Lin. Something's blocked our comms. Uh-huh. Careful not to touch those things. I've never sensed an abyssin like this before. It's going to be pretty hard for just the three of us to fix damage this extensive. Oh no! Darned abyssins! Abyssins? No, no, no. I noticed that the nearby force field generators were not taken down by brute force. Someone must have just switched them off. But these force field generators can only be controlled from a console at Outpost 10. And special authorization is needed at that. Tian Long, you mean someone working in the outpost switched off the force field generators? A working hypothesis. I sincerely doubt Grayspace entities would have the power to crack a security system that strong. Otherwise... No... Surely not! Maybe it was a simple equipment malfunction? Well, I suppose we can't say anything for sure at this stage. Let's keep going. I'm eager to meet up with Lin and the others at Base Station 2. Perhaps they figured something out we haven't. you do, don't come into contact with the threads around us. It's a trap. Are you alright? I'm alright. What about Umi? Have you seen her? Umi? Maybe she's hiding somewhere. Hiding? But we've eliminated the enemies. She may not necessarily be hiding from our enemies. What do you mean? You haven't noticed that our new friend Umi has been acting a little... Strange. Uh, maybe a little. So you've also noticed something is slightly amiss with Umi. Well? She may just be an executor in training, but even so she would have already undergone rigorous preparation. Failing to immediately report an attack on her outpost and leaving it on her own accord is a major dereliction of duty. But judging by Umi's reaction, I got the sense she didn't know what a serious infraction it was. 
Also, when Lin asked about survivors, Umi should have immediately suggested to check the safe house. She only let us there when Shirley said she had identified signs of life nearby. Exactly. She's been lying to us. And I think on more than one occasion. At first, I thought that she was just in shock. But it was very curious to me that she checked the outpost's comms network when Lin asked her to. She didn't notice how odd that sounded. Executors are responsible for protecting others. They aren't trained in how to operate an outpost's comms equipment, or even have the access to it. But Umi did not have any trouble with either. She must have stolen access keys from those unconscious technicians. What I wonder is, how she managed to learn the system so well. Of course, it's possible that she didn't really check the systems like Lin asked, but I think it's safe to conclude something very strange is going on. Do you think Miss Lin also noticed that something was off? It's safe to say, yes. Lin is very careful, and Umi's subterfuge has been clumsy, to say the least. Let's go and meet up with them. Hey, what about Umi? Shouldn't we try to find her? Don't worry. She will find us when she wants to. Huh? But won't we get lost without her? I've made my fair share of visits to this plant collector's paradise, so... I'm the... Oh? I thought you said you didn't have a good head for directions. I was just playing along with Umi. Come on, don't fall behind. No signs of Lin or Shirley yet? Seems we're the first to arrive. Or perhaps they ran into trouble. If that's so, I think they should be able to handle it. It's a shame the equipment here isn't in better condition. It's going to take us several days at least to restore everything. If we can't fix the base stations for several days, do we have any other ways to go to Ennis? Without a space rift, the only way to get there would be the deep sea tunnels. Deep sea tunnels? Yes. A primitive access way established during the founding of the Second City for the transportation of materials, equipment, and personnel. The later establishment of stable space rift networks with Maroria rendered the tunnels mostly obsolete. There's an entrance to the tunnels quite close to here. Just over there. <gasps> Is that... Umi? Let's go and see what's happening over there. <laughs> 